Hey guys, it's uh, Tuesday evening, uh, the 12th of November 2013, and I thought I'd take this opportunity just to look at a couple of questions um, after our double lesson today and a little bit of confusion. So, what we've got here is we know the coefficient of friction is 0 0.1. And we are finding Waddle's acceleration down the slope. So today we looked at um, using the uh, F equals MA and resolving and stuff when we've got a situation involving inclined planes. So I'm just going to go for a couple of questions here. So mu is 0 0.1, Waddle's acceleration down the slope. We start by resolving perpendicular to the slope. The reason we do that is, oh look at this, pretty red. Whee! Anyway, uh, the reason we do that here is we want to find R because later on in the question we're probably going to be using it in friction is mu R. So good practice is always to do that first. So forces this way, we've got the reaction of the slope pushing against Waddles going no. And this way, look what I've done, these two red forces, Waddles is Mass is 2 kilograms, so 2 times acceleration due to gravity, 2g acting down. If we componentize that this way, if that's 30, then this angle here is 30, because if you imagine the right angle triangle there, 30, 60, that's 30, because this angle here is 90. So that's 30, so that's 2g cos 30, so r equals 2g cos 30, which three decimal places at least, because it's part of our working out. 16.974 newtons. Now we use F equals MA down the slope. It says find his acceleration down the slope. We're assuming he's accelerating down the slope. This is actually not a slope, it's a slide um, at the park that he's on. Uh, using F equals MA down the slope, we have 2G sine 30, which is a component of his weight acting down, pulling him down the slide. We have against that the friction acting against the direction of motion. Because he's moving, friction is maximised and is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal reaction. So that's mu r there. And that's all equal to mass times acceleration. And all I've done here is mu is 0 0.1 and r is 16.974. Put them in. I've, really, I've um, worked that out, taken away what that is from it, remembering bid mass, and then I divide the answer by 2. 4.5 metres per second. You go, Waddles. That's quite an acceleration down a slide. Hope someone's going to catch you at the end. OK, so we now have, uh, I thought it would be good to go through a question. You started 3E today, so I thought if I look at question 4 with you here, then that will help us ready for next week. Remember, next week your homework is due in. And the homework I expect is 3C and 3D. Right, so we've got here, this is question 4 from exercise 3E in the book. Block is released from rest on a rough slope. After 6 seconds, its speed is 21 metres a second. What's the value of a resistive force? Now, this is a clever question because they're asking us to find... Um, acceleration really first we've got to use some suvat okay so using suvat they tell us v uh, 21 they tell us it's released from rest so u is zero and they tell us it takes six seconds to get from zero to 21 meters per second so using v equals u plus at we find the acceleration now we've got the acceleration normally we'd resolve but it's asking us the resistive force. It just wants the value of friction. It doesn't want the mu and the r separate. It just wants friction as a value. Okay. So if we use F equals ma down the slope, down the direction it's accelerating in, 20 sine 30 is the component of the weight acting down the slope. And that is acting down, friction is acting up, so 20 sine 30 minus friction is MA, and then all I've done is added friction to both sides, taken 20 times 3.5 away from both sides, effectively moved these two over, so I get friction is this, 
that is 98, that little puppy is 70, 98 minus 70 is 28 newtons. If we did want to find mu, we could simply put that 28 equal to mu r, find r by resolving there, and rearrange, but it hasn't asked us to, so we're not going to. OK, um, that's it for this week, and next week we'll have more learning and less hot chocolate. Goodbye.